Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second episode of Livy's Weeklies. If you haven't watched my first episode of Livy's Weeklies, what I basically do is I do a mini art tutorial and then after that I do my weekly setup for the next week. And so for today's art tutorial, it's going to sort of link with my weekly setup because I'm going to be drawing a leaf in just black and white ink and I'm going to use that same sort of leaf technique for my weekly setup. If you guys have watched my March Bullet Journal setup, you know that I did a monster uh, leaf theme and I did stick with that for my first weekly setup, but then I sort of decided I didn't really want to continue with that theme. So instead of continuing that same exact theme, I'm just doing a nature theme and a green theme. So for this week, I'm doing a leaf theme, just a different type of leaf. And in my weekly setups, I like to vary the different types of themes I do, and they sort of relate to the main theme for the month, but then they sort of have some differences, which I like because it just gives it some more variety. And how I'm drawing this leaf is at the end or on the edge of the leaf, I'm adding more pressure to the pen and then when I go into the center of the leaf, or the center of half of the leaf, I sort of let go of that pressure so that there's thinner lines at the end and there's thicker lines at the beginning so that it's darker on the edges and in the center. And I'm just using a bunch of tiny lines. They don't have to be perfect. You want it to look a little messy and if you take too long making sure that each line is like perfect and parallel to each other that's just going to take forever so you want to make messy tiny lines that overlap each other and then they'll make a darker area here and there and on the second leaf i did i think i did add a little too much of the ink to the middle part because then you can't really see the larger veins of the leaf like you did on the first one I drew but I think that also happened because that was a smaller leaf that I drew so I have to make sure that the pressure and the line length that I'm drawing is smaller than the larger one and I still want to be able to see the middle of the stem so by making the middle of the stem lighter you can see it more clearly so i'm just drawing around this line that i drew in between for the stem and you can see that there's just this white sort of line in between the halves of the leaves and now i'm just gonna cut it out and the reason why i drew it on the corner of the paper was so that i would use less paper when i cut it out and then I'm just going to take some craft paper and wrinkle it up with my hands. And then I'm just going to rip it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I want it to have an organic look so you can rip it whatever shape you like. And then I'm going to open my bullet journal and use some all-purpose Elmer's glue. I think it's called glue all. I like to use this more than like the normal school glue because it dries quicker and it's more permanent. So I'm using this and I don't think it's washable. It's for like wood and household repair, stuff like that. Anyways, I'm using my pen to smooth it out. And I'm just doing this sort of modern-ish, minimalistic sort of page. And then I'm using some washi tape. I have a large collection of washi tape, but the thing is I don't really use the washi tape. I just like collecting it. So today I'm gonna make use of some of my washi tapes. I'm just going to stick it on and the washi tape is sort of translucent which I didn't really like because then you can see through it and you can see the craft paper but that's really okay and then I couldn't really think of a quote but then I just wrote hello world because after all that leaf is super naturey if that's a word anyways it's time to move on to my March weekly setup so first I'm using my graphic pigma micron size one and I'm just writing March in a messy sort of modern cursive. And then next to it on the right, I'm writing week of March 15th. And then I'm just gonna draw in a mini calendar. And remember that my calendar 
starts on Monday because I sort of prefer my week starting on Monday. So just take a note of that. And then on that side, I'm doing the notes and goals. You can outline the whole box for the notes and goals if you'd like, but I think it gives a more minimalistic style if I just do a single line. And then I'm doing a Dutch door this time. So on the Dutch door, I'm doing hours of school. You can do like hours of chores, hours of work, whatever you'd like. And then I'm just drawing a bunch of lines and in each layer, I write what I did for the hour. So let's say I did one hour of reading. I would put reading in one of those slots and then I would put maybe what type of book I was reading or what book I was reading. And then that would count for one hour. And then I just have 25 hours because that's the way my schedule works. And then on the other side, I'm doing the to-do part. So I'm doing the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday schedule, as I said before. And then I'm just drawing in some columns to help me know which day it is because previously I didn't have the lines in between the different days so then I kind of got confused sometimes and wrote the to do for the wrong day and then on the right hand side I'm drawing on a green box and the accent color I'm using for this spread is the pastel green you get from the pastel tumble dual brush pen set and I'm just going to write to do and outline that and so basically, if you have something to do, let's say you do reading on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you would put a dot on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then on that same line, you would write reading on the to-do side. And then on the back side of the Dutch door, I'm doing a mini quote, which is March is a month of expectation. This sort of motivates me to do better in whatever I do. So I'm just writing that. And also for quotes, I don't like browse for hours and hours finding a really good quote so i just find a random quote that i like and makes sense and then i'm just coloring in the part of the words that are bubble letters and a good way to make your quotes pop out is to use a variety of fonts even though the quote may be simple and small it might be like a short quote if you use different fonts it can make it appear more modern or give it a better style depending on what different fonts you use and you can make the sizes of the fonts or sizes of the words bigger and that really has a different effect and you can just play around with the fonts and sizes a lot and then you have like a totally different look so i just recommend sketching your quotes out beforehand seeing what you like or just sketch out basically everything you do in your bullet journal because like I do if I just go straight on with my ink like I did in my previous bullet journal it usually end up not looking as good as I thought it would in my head so I make sure to sketch it out and anyways the leaves I just drew I use the same technique as I showed you previously and I'm just drawing in some tiny leaves for the quote. I'm just doing two small leaves on top and two small leaves on the bottom. And to shade it in, I'm just going to use the same technique I did before, but I'm not going to show you guys. Otherwise, this video would be one hour long. Also, if you guys have any art recommendations or bullet journal recommendations, and you'd like to see me draw something, or if you just have some video ideas, make sure to comment them in the comments below. And I'm just using my pastel green to draw in some leaves on the, on the day side. And then on the bottom, I'm doing the same leaves I did. And then I'm just going to add some sparkles on the to-do thing. And so there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more videos. Follow me on Instagram at Livy.Dolphin and visit my Etsy shop at LivyDolphinArt. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!